Hey guys, Nick here from Click and Droid, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can unroot your Motorola Click. Now, I want to say a few things before I start this. This will not work on a Motorola Dex, Backflip, Click XT, or Quench. So if you have any of those, and obviously if you have a Backflip or a Quench, you're not rooted. But if you have any of those, you should not follow this tutorial because it will break your phone. And the second thing I want to say is that this will only work on the radio versions of 1.3.18, 1.4.8 and one or the leaked 2.1 version which I think is 2.0.25 so if you have those uh, radio versions continue following this tutorial now once again you're gonna need three files I'm gonna provide you with two links and the third file you're gonna have to find on your own the two links that I'm gonna be providing you with is the first one will be the drivers so you download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit whatever is for your computer and the second link is for mod my mobile the 1.4.8 SBF now to download this file, you're gonna to need to register and log in with your account and then you can just go to this link and click download and it'll download and the third file you're going to need is called RSD Lite, and the version you're going to need is 4.6. Now, I can't legally provide you with a link to that, but if you Google RSD Lite 4.6 download, I'm sure you'll find it. It'll probably be in a RAR or a zip, whatever. Just search, and I'm sure you will find it. And don't ask me to get it be to give it to you, because I will not give it to you. So, once you have all those files, you want to extract them to your desktop, as you see here. I have the SBF, RSB, RSD, sorry, and the Motorola drivers. Now, you want to take the drivers and RSD Lite and install both of them, and make sure they install correctly. So, if you've done that now, I'm going to go over to the camera, and I'm going to show you what you have to do next. So now we have RSD Lite and the drivers installed on our computer, we need to put the phone into bootloader mode so it's easier for the computer to recognize the phone when trying to restore it. So to do that, you just want to turn off the phone, so hold down power and power off, and it could take a little while so give it a second, and you want to make sure it's off, there we go phone's off. So, now when you turn it back on, you want to hold down the menu button here on the left side of the phone and the power button here on the top right. So, once you press both at the same time, and you should come up with this blue screen here. It's kind of hard to see that it's blue. Uh, at the bottom you see it says bootloader USB INT. So now let's go back to the computer and I will show you what to do from there. So now that we have our phone in bootloader mode, we're going to open up RSD Lite and we're going to plug the phone in. Now the phone might not show up if you're on Windows Vista or 7, so you want to right click RSD Lite and run it as administrator. And if that still doesn't work, you want to boot into safe mode and run it as administrator and then you want to plug the phone in and it will probably recognize it. So there you see, it has recognized my phone, and it doesn't tell me anything about it, but you if you know if you have 1.4.8 or 1.3.18, whatever you're running, you should know that before you do this. So that's all set up there. You want to browse for the SBF file, so uh, you want to click the dot 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 over here, and mine is on my desktop. So there's the Timo Morrison Viper 1.4.8 and just double click on it and you get the information in the right box over here you know all the info basic that you have and this is just going to restore you to stock 1.4.8 so if everything's good and you're ready to do this you just click start and it will do its thing now your phone is going to stay in the blue state from here on but when it's done with the progress indicator it might not say pass like mine probably will but if it's executed 100% uh, a few times and you see that you've booted up into Moto Blur, you can unplug the phone and everything has worked out fine. So you just want to let it do its thing here and you'll know when it's done. Obviously, it'll boot into Moto Blur. So there you go. If everything was done right, you should now see that after a boot of about 2 minutes and RSD Lite restoring for about 5 minutes, <laughs> that you've reached the Moto Blur login screen, or if you don't have your SIM card in here, do you please insert a SIM card screen? So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So, if you want more tutorials like this or more ROM reviews, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at ClickAndroid, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.